Hi everyone, my name is Chris. My husband and I have five kids and we have another one on the way this October and our family's been vegan for almost four years now. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you like simple, sustainable methods for going vegan as a family. One of the things that we loved before we went vegan was sandwiches from sub shops. Today we're gonna be showing you guys three dupes for our favorite sub shop sandwiches that are perfect for after school. When I tell you, your kids are gonna be freaking out over these sandwiches when they come in the house and they're starving and you put some Cape Cod chips next to it and a pickle or whatever, they're going to freak out. Now these aren't just your regular everyday sandwiches. These are sandwiches with a little something extra, a little twist to them that make them really unique and we hope that you guys enjoy this video. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the first sandwich is inspired by the Bobby from Capriati's. I used to have this all the time back in boarding school in Delaware. It's basically a Thanksgiving dinner and a sandwich, and here's how we make it. So first off, we have our vegan mayo, our vegan turkey cutlets, stuffing, cranberry sauce, and of course, we have it on Italian bread. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and slather on your vegan mayo all over your two sides of your bread. And then next, you wanna load up your vegan turkey. We use Gardein turkey cutlets. These are the same ones we use at Thanksgiving. And we just leave it a little bit less than is suggested on the packet, and we cook it in the air fryer. Then we add our cranberry sauce. We put it right in the middle. It helps to keep everything nice and sweet, but not too overpowering. And then we take the stuffing and we pile that on the top. And that is it. You have officially just made a Thanksgiving sandwich or a Bobby from Capriati's vegan style. Mmm. Mmm. All the flavors they marry together in a sandwich. Look at that. Mmm. Thanksgiving about to be every day. <laughs> There's something about that Bardeen, turkey, the yeah. garden turkey cutlet that it's lighter. brings it up a notch. Yeah. <laughs> How is it? <laughs> up next is the Italian nightclub from Jimmy John's. This used to be our family's favorite Jimmy John sandwich and let me show you how we make it. The key to the sandwich is the vinaigrette, which we're making sort of our own version of it. Those are the things that we use for it. We use diet provolone and they've used three types of meat, but we use two. You need your onion, your tomatoes, and I also add mashed avocado and cucumbers. And of course, we have this on ciabatta bread. So for the vinaigrette, we use mayo, some mashed avocado, Italian seasonings, we use some garlic powder, some pizza seasonings, and believe it or not, some dill weed. We mix all that up with some olive oil and mayo, and then when it's all ready, we start putting our sandwich together. So we load up our tomatoes, then our meats, then our cheeses, and then we add the dressing. Once the dressing is all slathered on there, we go ahead and we put the lettuce, and then the onions, and then finally the cucumbers. And then right on that top bun, we put some more mashed avocado. And when I tell you, this sandwich is so amazing, it's so quick and easy to make, here are the official reviews. All right. The Italian nightclub. It smells amazing. Mm. That dressing is really good, but it tastes legitimately like, uh, legitimately like an Italian sandwich. Mm. We also added the uh, cucumber and avocado to it. Yeah, I always used to get it with cucumber and avocado. And that like really kicks it up a notch. But yeah, leave a comment and let us know which sandwich you're gonna try first. And your kids are gonna enjoy this a lot too, especially when they come home from school and they're ready to have something to eat. Throw it together real fast. Oh yeah, absolutely. And the final sandwich is the TTLA from Whole Foods, which I tried for the first time in this video up here. Here's how we make it at home. So we need our tempeh bacon, and then we need garlic aioli, which we're just gonna use a little bit of garlic powder and mayo. And then we need lettuce, tomato, and instead of using regular avocados, we mash our avocados. It just helps the sandwich stay together better. And the TTLA comes with ciabatta bread, which is what we're using here. We got ours from Trader Joe's. So we're gonna take a little bit of garlic powder and sprinkle it on a little bit of the mayo that we've already put on our ciabatta bread. And this will help it really get that garlicky flavor. Then we load up our tempeh 
and then we're gonna put the mashed avocado all over the tempeh on top it'll help the sandwich stay together load up the tomatoes the lettuce and that is it you now have your own homegrown ttla sandwich how's ttla i see you took the the tempeh out mm, it's good <laughs> Mmm. Mm. Mm. The mayo, the avocado, the smoky flavor of the tempeh, like delicious. Delicious. Okay, so that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this gave you some great ideas for after school sandwiches that will spice up your life a little bit. Please make sure to like this video if it was helpful and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.